You got enough evidence for a search. I'll hit up a judge. Not to talk trash about Mr. Dubois, but let's get to the lab and see what brand of bag he prefers. funny thing to file away, and it wasn't even under S. Got one child here with no family resemblance. This set of knives came from a high-end cutlery shop, but this other one is just a plain old slice co. Try using a similar tool. bloody surface, serrated edge. Could this be the weapon we've been searching for? Nothing here that will help us. So Dubois had the same brand of trash bags as the torn fragment we found at the crime scene. They are a common brand, so it's by no means proof. Michael and Carrie had access to these. Anyone else? The blood on the knife matches our pick. I wonder if Dubois will try to write this off to rough sex play. We've got a match to a Nevada Gaming Commission card. Lucy Kennelly. Wonder what she was doing around Michael Dubois' apartment. Those two brag about hating each other. Now we know what tool was used at Carrie's apartment to break open the drawer. We've done all we can with that evidence right now. Thank you. 
He's on his way to interrogation now. I know you think I'm some sort of mouth breather, but I'm actually a man of means and taste. I said I was an amateur chef. I wouldn't demean my kitchen with cheap tools like that. Maybe so, but that's where we found it. In your kitchen. Maybe it walked in of its own accord. By the way, lab tells us your fiancé's blood is all over it. Well, it may be her blood, but it's not my knife. I go in for the best. I can afford to spoil myself. And I do. Are you deaf or stupid or both? You shouldn't be looking at me. You should be asking yourself, who put that junk blade in my shiny kitchen? I can tell you one thing. Carrie has knives like that. That sister of hers gave them to her, which shows you how little that bitch really cares about her. Lucy probably just lifted them from the double dip. It's the kind of low-end cutlery their restaurant uses. Other than Carrie and me, I don't know. You'd have to check with the building manager. It's janitor. <laughs> Someone hid it in a file folder. It was used to pry open a desk drawer in Carrie Canelli's apartment. Looking for something? A screwdriver in a file folder? Why don't you put it back and file it under screwed over by the cops? Why don't you try leveling with us? Or you could be screwing yourself, Mr. Dubois, right into death row. I came in, I saw that bloody mess. At that moment, for some stupid reason, I flashed onto this desk drawer Carrie had always kept locked from me, never tell me what was in it, it drove me nuts thinking the woman I loved, the woman I was going to marry, thought it was right keeping something from me. So I ran to my truck, grabbed my screwdriver to pry the drawer open. I was, I was looking for love letters or some such. Didn't really know, just had to know what was so damn secret. Only it was empty. I shut it. Felt very stupid about it, okay? And then I called the police. So after you got back to your apartment, you hid the screwdriver in a place you thought we wouldn't find it. You thought wrong. Compelling stuff. I can call that judge with a clear conscience and get that search warrant. Hey, doesn't doesn't this key look like the one we found in Carrie's apartment? Well, this is definitely not Mr. Dubois' day. These records show profits from Mr. Dubois' bookmaking operation. Maybe this is the leverage Lucy Kennelly was talking about. Fairly wide gauge needles. I wonder what she needs these for. Skylar Progressive Hospital. That's where her dad was. Person's prints. Not too surprising if this box did come from that hospital. Look at our sweet innocent heiress have been putting in her veins. 
Hey, Grissom asked me to check up on you guys. Crack this sucker yet? Who was it that said, curiouser and curiouser? Probably Grissom, quoting Lewis Carroll. What's the latest curiosity? Well, seems Carrie has this thing for needles and the people who have access to them. Into drugs? Initial report from the bloodbath in her apartment was negative. We're about to run this new sample by Doc Robbins. If Tox turns up clean here, too, then you need to ask yourself, if our Vic wasn't shooting up, what were those needles for? Yes, an exact match to the key to Michael Dubois' apartment. So there was a third person with access. We've done all we can with that evidence right now. We've done all we can with that evidence right now. We've done all we can with that evidence right now. Yep, that hypodermic needle ought to inject some confidence in a judge. Let's go. So you found those. Need any further convincing that this guy is a total pawn scum? I took them from his apartment, yes, because I wanted something to really show my father what sort of lowlife his precious little girl was getting ready to marry. A blessed union that stood to taint our family and our business with guilt by association. I'd have thought you wanted to protect your sister from a lowlife like Dubois. Carrie was past listening to reason, and I don't remember when she ever listened to me. Meek though she seems, she makes her own choices. My responsibility is the business my father worked so hard to build. Stopped in one day to deliver a copy of my father's will to Carrie, only she wasn't in. I have a spare key for her apartment for emergencies. Whatever squabbles we might have, we're still family. Anyway, I went in and stumbled across that spare key to Dubois' apartment. Thinking fast, I went out to my car and got some ski wax out of the trunk, made an impression, and had a key made that very afternoon. So you helped yourself to a good hard look around his apartment. The guy is slime, and you know it, and I know it. I knew damn well I'd find something on him. Frankly, I expected to find drugs, but what I did find works just as well to demonstrate what an amoral loser Carrie hooked up with. Plant a... No! No! I didn't go there to plant anything. I just looked for evidence of his low-life character. So you had a key, and you knew Carrie was getting everything in your father's will. Perfect opportunity to get rid of Sis and claim your rightful share of the family fortune. Especially with that scumbag fiancé just waiting to be fit for a frame. Listen carefully. Carrie and I have had our problems. I don't like her, okay? But she's my sister, and I love her. I would sooner kill myself than harm her. And anyway, why would I? She already signed the casino over to me. I found those needles at Carrie's place, when I was dropping off the will, remember? They disturbed me, obviously. If she got herself involved in drugs, I'd have to... I don't know what. Certainly, I intended to confront her about it. Is that why you left that note? Well, I was pretty angry. I figured with all the opportunities Carrie had heaped upon her in her short life, to get involved with drugs... And that's what I assumed. Though I suppose it could have been an illness or something. Anyway, I was bent out of shape, out of concern for her. I don't have anything else to say to you.